welcome back to journey with gem if you're new to this channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're old thank you also for tuning in please make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time i upload a video so please subscribe for more content on travel hotel and lifestyle thank you guys here's my new video yes I'm back again with another review video. I'm currently staying at the Hampton Inn by London Docklands. So let's have a look at the video. Welcome to Hampton by Hilton, London Docklands. I had the option of paying for this property when I arrived at the hotel. This booking was made through booking.com. When checking in, you must provide the card that the room was booked under. This hotel provides a business center, dry cleaning, iron service, and fax photocopying facilities at an additional price. So let's take the lift to the room. I was located on the fifth floor. All floors require you to carry your key card with you in order to get onto the floor. Otherwise the doors will not open for you, which makes you feel more secure. Let's take a look at the room. First off is the bathroom, which is super bright because of the lighting. Even at night time, the light is really bright. There is no dimmer light than this. The bathroom is a decent size for you to maneuver around in. Nice clean shower. I love this long mirror. Some essentials are also provided. Nice size LG TV. Mini desk if need to do some work or Zoom calls. The view from my room. Nice comfy chair so you can watch TV or eat breakfast on. Here is a safe box. And a hairdryer. A queen size bed, I love how there are multiple plugs next to the bed head. There is also a hidden wardrobe to hang up your stuff, also provided was an iron, an iron board and some hangers.
This fitness centre has a number of equipments that can be used. This is a three-star hotel. The check-in starts from 3 p.m. Check-out is from 12 p.m. onwards. Okay, let's start off with the gems. Let me give you guys some gems of this hotel. Firstly, the room is a decent sized room. I can't lie to you. There is enough space for you to maneuver around and do what you want to do within the room. Secondly, the bed is very comfortable, the pillows are comfortable, the duvet is not too, too much. Like, it's just light, but it's, it will put you to sleep, which is good. The mattress, the mattress is on point as well, I cannot complain about that. And the TV is, a, it's not a smart TV, so you have to go for your one to five channels, you might get your film four channels. Just, yeah, it's, it's, it's decent if you just want to wake up on a Sunday morning and just, you know, watch some Sunday brunch or whatever is on the TV. But yeah, the bathroom. I just like the lighting in the bathroom and also the shower. The shower is just, yeah, it's powerful. You guys know I love a little good shower head and the shower head was on point, so I cannot complain about anything within that. This room also comes with your essentials, so you've got a iron ironing board hair dryer kettle um a phone as well if you want to phone the reception so those are the essential things within this room also another gem would be that they have a fitness center this this weekend i didn't do a workout because i couldn't be up i didn't bring no gym clothes and i was not in the mood to do any you know workout this, this weekend i was just not in the mood but yeah another gem would be that they have parking but it's on a first come first serve basis so you can't reserve it on the phone or online or anything like that you pay when you get here it is 10 pound for 24 hours which is not too bad because you think about it you, you will need the parking because this location there is no parking anywhere else you can park across the road but i believe that you pay more for how many hours you stay here which is a bit of a bump so yeah and it's located next to london city airport london excel royal docks and there are a few dlr stations but they're not too close you'll probably have to walk or uber it another gem would be that check-in is very good as soon as they check you in give you your key tell you about all the essential stuff like breakfast parking and if there's any food shops that you want to know about any locations that you want to get to they will let you know about that let me give you guys the cons of this hotel firstly i want to say their breakfast i'm giving them a two for effort literally the breakfast was a two for effort let me show you guys what the breakfast consists of okay they did have a, a different selection of stuff downstairs. So you can get your hot meals and also you can get your cereal, your hot drinks, water, juice, whatever you wanted to get, fruit, yogurts, all of that. Firstly, I was pissed off because I asked them if they could do me an omelette and the woman was like, no, this is all that we have. So I was like, cool. 
Breakfast is from 7 to 9 a.m. Why? Usually breakfast starts from 7 and it doesn't finish until like 10.30 or 11. What the hell is that 7 to 9 a.m. please? I just don't understand that. Secondly, I want to talk about the scrambled egg. Why was the scrambled egg so watery? I literally looked at it. I thought, you know what, let me, let me give it a try. Give it a try. Oh my lord. We're really not gonna, yeah. Hamptons, fix up in your breakfast, please. Especially the egg. That was. Can we please have a moment of silence? For real. The egg was just, no. So the only thing that I ate from that meal was the sausage, the potatoes, and the baked beans. That was it. Just because I was hungry, that was literally it. Um, the hot chocolate was on point, I can't lie. All they needed was some whipped cream, some marshmallows, or a little something, something to add to it, but the hot chocolate was okay. I cannot complain about the hot chocolate. Um, another con would be the view. The view is not all that because of where it is you will see like other hotels you will see like a little bit of excel and stuff like that but the, the view is not on point so if people want to come here for views i wouldn't recommend this hotel but i would also talk about the customer service the customer service is not too bad i feel like it could be a little bit better like some people need to smile some people need to greet people in the morning now like when i went downstairs to go and collect my breakfast um Spoke to the woman that was serving people for breakfast. Hi, good morning. Where's your mask? What? She's like, where's your mask? Excuse me? First of all, good morning. Would be nice. But yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to move on from that. So I had to come back upstairs and get my mask. Unfortunately, I didn't have a mask in my bag. So the girl at the reception was like, yeah, you have to pay for a mask. How much is a mask? One pound. One pound for one mask. Yeah, Hampton, you guys are really bumping people right now because you lot should be giving out masks for free. I could go to Poundland and get a whole 10 masks for a pound. And you don't want to be selling masks for one pound. Okay, but we're just going to swiftly move on from that one. Because I'll be here all day. But yeah, firstly, I don't have anything else to complain about. <laughs> That's only saying week. Yeah, I don't have anything else to complain about within this hotel. But... So far, I'm going to give this hotel three out of five gems. I can't lie. That, that's a bit of a stretch, but I'm going to give it a three out of five gems. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching Journey with Jess.